William. May I call you William Baldwin? Can we talk about how we've been trying to do this for yes. a couple years? Yes, great. Like, it's great. We kind of know each other but don't know each other. Right. She's interviewed my mother, right? I've interviewed and your mother. We have a couple of mutual friends. And your wife was in my house and she sang for me. So are you going to sing for me? 25 years. You've been married 25 years? This April. Mazel tov. 25 years. That's that's a feather in your Three cap. Three kids, lots of scars. <laughs> okay, what is the key, truly? Because I think 25 years is a lot of years. All I can tell you is that anybody out there that thinks that you are that you can't change, whether you're together five years or 25 years, it's absolutely wrong. If it matters enough to you, you've got the tools in the toolbox to, uh, to constantly uh, hit the refresh button and make it really kind of cool and fun and interesting. Like, I remember being in a session, uh, a counseling session, where, you know, they said, just tell Billy one thing you need. It could be a foot rub, whatever. Right. And my wife told me one thing, and it wasn't a foot rub. It right. was a big, big, big thing that she needed, and it was not easy to do. And this taking us to another level. But I adore my wife. Yeah, she's amaze balls, as they say. People are saying amaze balls these days. Yeah. I always feel like it's weird because it brings up balls. Mm. Amaze balls. I'd rather say amaze. Amaze men. Okay. You're an amazing man. What's been the most pivotal role you've played out of all of them? And there have been, congratulations, so many. I can't, I don't know. I mean, I've had a lot of great experiences. I've worked with a lot of cool people. I did internal affairs with Richard Gere and with Andy Garcia. And of course, I did backdraft with Ron Howard and Kurt and De Niro. And then, of course, Flatliners. I will tell you something interesting about uh, Born on the Fourth of July. It was about a guy from my hometown, Massapequa, Long people. Island. He was a student of my father's in my father's class, and when he was shot and paralyzed in Vietnam, they put him in the Bronx VA to rehabilitate him. My father used to go to the Bronx VA with like Newsweek and Time and the Sunday New York Times to read the news to him. Oh, wow. And he would sit in the, in the hospital room, and I would be on the floor like playing with my toys when I was like five years old. And 25 years later, uh, I walk into Oliver Stone, and I told him what I just told you, and he said, if you have a pulse and could put a complete sentence together, <laughs> you're gonna find we're gonna you're gonna be in this movie. We'll find something for you to do. I have a funny Oliver Stone story, and it relates to your New York Times story. When Can you tell it? Basically, uh, he said that the mainstream media had shut him out, and I said, "What do you mean you're on talk strip?" He goes, "Not the New York Times, sweetheart, but I love you." <laughs> <laughs> wow. Anyway, I'm not. Is that an insult? To you? How respectful are you toward others? Very. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If they earned it, they deserve it. I mean, I don't go out of my way to be disrespectful to anybody, but. I don't pretend to be respectful to somebody, you know. If I were to meet, you know, Donald Trump. Good example. I, I would not, I would have a few choice words for him. Do tell. I am, you know, a fan of his. He's, he's my brother. Big fan, big my fan. brother, yeah, big fan. Uh, he, my brother <laughs> did Apprentice twice, and he was very cool to my brother, and he was very cool to my mother's foundation, and I, 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 I appreciate that, but I sp particularly don't like him dredging up all this stuff with, with transgressions of Bill Clinton 25 years ago, 30 years ago. I just think right, it's, it's like get some new material now. Like, please. This guy's been married mul multiple times. And I used to do scenes in my acting class with Marla Maples. No. Yes, I did. Come on. And How is Donald, she? between being a judge on Miss Universe for you one time and between doing scenes in my acting class with Marla Maples when you two were dating, I could write a book. I can write a book, and you would not be happy. Not happy at all, Donald. Billy Baldwin, he's a loser. Such a strong crop this year. So you're in the new show, Hit the Floor on yes. VH1. Mm. Tell me all about it. Uh, you know, it's it's. Uh, I'm not a series regular. Why not? Though I'd like to play one on TV. Here's the deal. The show's really cool. We're back, bitches! It's an LA-based professional basketball team. On this court, Going for the win you can have it all. All of this drama going on that's super yummy and, and sexy and dysfunctional. Let's have revenge sex. Around the NBA, around the players, and the most unbelievable choreography. Oh we, well, it's your favorite show. It's, a, it's um, winning in the polls. The polls, not the polls, the ratings. You're still holding, you wanted to go back to that Trump thing, didn't you? The a little bit I did, because you do a good Trump. Yeah. I like it. Billy Baldwin, you're a loser. <laughs> No, yeah. I don't do an impersonation of Trump. I do an impersonation of everybody doing an impersonation right. of Trump. <laughs> do you do any good impersonations? Nah, I not. I have to be have like you know a drink or something, and it has to. Somebody like, get this man a cocktail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know who's great at impersonations, which is scary. Is which that? you know this already. What is my brother Alec? Well, so can you do him? No. 
People say I do him all the time. I try not to, but they say, apparently I look and I sound a lot like him. So. Hello, Hello, Diana. Diana. Stop acting like me. I think you're an individual and original oh, and thanks, amazeballs. I'm amazeballs. <laughs> Thank you for being on the show, sir. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>